Superficial chemical peels can improve the skin's appearance by peeling away many signs of aging on the face, hands, neck and chest. Superficial peels are the mildest type of chemical peel and can be used on all skin types. Superficial chemical peels can be used to reduce fine lines under the eyes and around the mouth, treat wrinkles caused by sun damage and aging, improve the appearance of mild scars, treat certain types of acne, reduce age spots, freckles and dark patches or melasma due to pregnancy or taking birth control pills, improve the look and feel of skin, blotchy complexion, uneven skin tone or rough feeling skin. Before you get a chemical peel, a consultation by the treating therapist will be done before treatment to determine your medical history such as recently used isotretinoid, recent facial surgery or facial radiation therapy. This can make regrowth of the skin more difficult, an active herpes infection affecting the area to be treated, an impaired immune system. This can delay healing and increase the risk of infection and skin color changes after the peel, known allergies to certain medicines. A small test area will also be done to get a better idea of the results, especially on darker skin types. Chemical peels are done as an outpatient procedure, meaning there is no overnight stay. Right before the peel, the skin is cleaned thoroughly. Then a chemical solution is applied, depending on what the diagnosis is, which makes the skin blister and eventually peel off. The new skin is usually smoother and less wrinkled than the old skin. Depending on the type of peel, the acid is then neutralized to end the chemical reaction after two to five minutes. During a chemical peel, most people feel a burning sensation that lasts about five to 10 minutes followed by a stinging sensation. A handheld fan can help cool the skin and relieve any discomfort. A lotion or cream will be applied after the superficial peel to help soothe the skin, as well as a UV protecting cream. What to expect after the superficial chemical peel? Superficial peel causes only slight discomfort afterwards. Most people can return to their normal activities immediately. Skin may turn pink and usually only minimal peeling occurs. Proper skin care after a peel is very important to speed healing, help prevent infections and avoid color changes. Skin care typically involves cleansing the skin with water or a special wash that your therapist recommends, moisturizing your skin because scarring may occur if the skin dries out and cracks, avoid any sun exposure until peeling has stopped and new skin has appeared. Smoking after a chemical peel may cause unwanted side effects. Do not scratch or rub the treated skin. Use a cold compress to alleviate discomfort. Do not pick at scabs. This will increase the risk of infection, discoloration and scarring. Wear a UVA and UVB protecting sunscreen daily. Who is a good candidate for a superficial chemical peel? Generally, fair-skinned and light-haired patients are better candidates for chemical peels. If you have darker skin, you may also have good results, depending on the type of problem being treated. You also may be more likely to have an uneven skin tone after the procedure. Skin sags, bulges and more severe wrinkles do not respond well to chemical peels. At the LCM Skin and Laser Clinic, we offer three different peels, namely Neostrata, Lamel and PH Formula.